Super Brawl. Are you ready? Professional fighting record of eight wins against just three losses. He's representing the Militage Fighting Systems in Davenport, Iowa. One of the heaviest hitters in this board. His name is Ruthless Robbie Lawler. A lot of respect between these two fighters. Lawler just getting into Hawaii yesterday. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. Six foot one inches tall, winning at 185 pounds. Professional fighting record of 20 wins against just three losses. He's representing the NWA Fight Factory, Waipahu, Hawaii. And he's the current Icon Sport World Champion, Halamiko Nico in this building. And Nico loves a fight here because he's the most successful here. His last loss of his 12 fight win streak came at the UFC against Matt Lennon, who he previously beat. Lawler, who just got in yesterday, as we mentioned, applauding during Nico's introduction. As we said, a lot of respect between these two fighters. But Nico, this is so important, not only for him, this is important for Icon Sport. Nico is the face of Icon Sport right now. Exactly. Here we go, first of three rounds, five minutes apiece. Lawler comes attacking with some high left kicks. Nico blocking him pretty well. Nico grabbing onto the leg, into the ropes they go. Is that good wrestling ability by Robbie Lawler, keeping his leg, even his leg was up in the air. Nico's gonna try to slow the fight down probably, because he knows one of Robbie's um, weaknesses is his conditioning a lot of times. But uh, Robbie told me yesterday he's been working constant con conditioning as well as his overall game exchanging a couple of blows to the back of each other's head. Nico, this is his advantage is the strength. Robbie, especially, he's very strong as well. He originally came in at the 170 pounds. He's just too big of a fighter at 170. He decided to move back up to 185. He feels he's just as strong as any other guy at 185. That might be somewhat boastful in terms of comparing that to Nico Vitale, though. Nico doesn't walk around at 185. You know what I mean? Right, right. He's the big guy used to fight at 205, so, you know, you see two guys. Nico's coming out from 200. Robbie's coming up from 170, and you're meeting at 185. Nico picks up Lawler's right leg with that sweep. Lawler definitely on the attack. Nico fighting him off. There's a big leg sweep. Lawler comes in with the left knee. It possibly catches Nico. Nico switches the fight right here. Lawler's feet actually go outside of the ring and onto press table. Nico stands him back up. This is the most we've seen Nico testing in his fights, probably in the last 20 fights or whatever. Nico does not want to get hit with one of those left uppercuts or hooks. That is Lawler's forte. You see how Nico responds to this is usually Nico is the dominant fighter in all his fights. Nico is the one that pushes his opponents and sees if he'll break them. He told me he wanted to break Robbie Lawler. Right now, Robbie's trying to break Nico. But we'll see. Sometimes Robbie, he may come out too too hard, too fast. We'll see if he fades later or, or his conditioning is indeed improved. One thing in Nico's favor, or at least maybe to his credit, is just how calm he has remained here despite Lawler forcing the issue early. Now Nico trying to force the issue. Unable to land on any of those throws, or at least not flush. Robbie's got double underhooks right here. He's trying to keep those elbows together. Works back to neutral position. Nico giving him a little, little shoulder, shrug, shoulder yeah. shrug, yeah. All around you and his teammate. While they're punching the thigh. Trying to get the hooks back around the torso of Nico Vitale. There's a couple of knees to the abdomen from Nico. Another one coming from the left side that time. And they continue to dance in the corner. That left 
kick going into the body and the crowd here at the Blaisdell of what looks to be over 6,000 people chant Nico in unison. Huge. Nico sends Lawler down with a slam. We'll see how good Robbie's off his back. Again, that excellent wrestling. Huge knee as Robbie comes up. Good uppercut that time, sneaking in after the knee by Nico Vitale. But Lawler showing some toughness as well, getting back up to his feet. Exactly what you expect from Robbie when he lost his back. Great scramble ability, his wrestling training comes back in, gets the fight back standing. Here comes the chance of Nico again. You see Robbie's bomb starting to open. Could be a sign of being tired, trying to get more air in there. I mean, that has to be a tiring prospect. Trying to go grip for grip with Nico Vitale in the corner. Nico sweeping in with that right kick to the body. Lawler evading it. And Lawler being a soft call, a little harder for Nico to use his textbook um, right leg kick as well, because that opposite leg is kind of far back. Both ready to pounce, you can feel it. Nico hops around for a moment. Leers in at Lawler, who leers right back. Everybody forgets how young Robbie is. You know, he started coming to UFC like 20, 21, actually 19 years old. I don't know Nico. if he's even in his mid-20s yet. Nico with a left-right combo. Lawler works it back up after Nico almost had him down. 15 seconds left here in the first round. Nico now 31 years of age. Lawler still in his early to mid 20s. He definitely has what I call the balls of youth. Yeah. You know? Young guy like that, that much skills and talent, beating the crap out of guys. Confidence just gets boosted up like to epic proportions. How are you calling that first round, Mike? I think went back and forth. I think Nico probably squeezed out a little edge. Usually because of that takedown, got good control. Um, big trades, but a lot of Robbie's punches and kicks didn't really land too too hard. Um, you know, both of them actually traded decent well, decent well standing up, but um, I think that takedown probably would have kind of leaned a little more toward Nico. It did look though that Lawler started to fatigue a little bit towards the end or the final minute or two of that round. So that kick came in, Nico caught it. But look at that excellent wrestling ability, keeping up, pummeling back in, getting his hips on and his legs underneath him. Another big part of that fight, too, was that knee. If that knee landed, that put Nico and made him sit back to guard. That's what he needs to do is either stay outside or inside that wheelhouse range of Robbie Lawler. And again, it makes it more difficult because Lawler is a southpaw. It's just that much more awkward for Nico. Exactly. Different angles. He's strong with his opposite hand for his wrestling ability. Here we go. Lawler, who came out firing in that first round, calmed down a sense. Now seems to be measuring things up a little bit more. Nico drops his hands for a moment. Gives him a little smirk. There's nice a right hand lead, follow with a left, follow with a series of rights. Nico catches him with the left and throwing blows to the dome of Robbie Lawler. Another one that sends sweat flying into the crowd. Nico is tearing it to Lawler. Lawler hits him with a right, trying to counter. He looked like he caught Nico a couple of times. There's a big lift from Lawler. Looks like Lawler's using the Rocky technique. Eight some punches covered up. Another left got in there from Lawler, another left followed by a right. What a comeback by Lawler after Nico landed some devastating blows. Those hooks are as dangerous punches. Robbie Lawler covered himself up, started firing back in the hole. As Nico started hitting, he started dropping those hands. Lawler grabbing onto the ropes quickly. The referee, Yuji Shimada, says no, he can't do that. Both chins have been tested so far in this fight here. And both are still standing for the moment to their credit. We're talking about Lawler doing the Rocky thing. The crowd is doing the Rocky thing, but just chanting Nico. Exactly. Short guillotine. Nico. Oh, and a huge body slam. Nico Vitale. But Lawler has him for a moment. He's got a choke in, but in that position, it's very difficult to generate any type of power. Nico easily gets out of that. That was enormous. That one rocked the base here at the Blaisdell. He's going to keep that hit square, Bobby Lawler. He turns, he's probably going to go for a single. The crowd in unison yelling for the knee. And he's getting a 
cross side here, switching his position. See if he can advance his position. Go for the Trying mount. to go for the mount. Yeah, a little aggressive. Probably does a good job of covering his guard. Maybe he should have went knee through. Gave probably a good opportunity to get his legs back around to the guard position. The referee doing a good job at stopping the action, bringing it back in the middle. He's going to move them to the center. And he's going to let Vitale reclaim that top position. You'll see former UFC champion Pat Elisic in Robbie Lawler's corner, shouting instructions. Be kicked by Robbie Lawler from the bottom. Yeah, that got Nico's chin. Nico coming down with a right hand, and that caught Lawler. Bobby's actually doing a good job at defending those punches. And he has it possibly in the leg bar. Lawler quickly spins out of it and then says, get on up. Get on up. Two minutes to go here in round two. This is what Icon Sport is all about. Now, Nico looks a little winded now. Bobby looks pretty strong right here. Like Nico has to catch his breath. I wonder if Nico went for that leg up because he felt he was winded. Lawler backing Nico into the corner. Nico leading with the right. That miss. A glancing blow. Nico's also telling me that with every fight, he's getting better and better conditioning. This fight, he said he trained a lot harder than the Masamara Suda fight for, so he feels like he's in great shape for this. Dodge that straight left coming from Lawler. Lawler Big catches him with the right uppercut, though. Lawler's getting his licks in in this round. They're definitely landing. Little mouse over underneath Nico's right eye as well. He goes for a spinning. The knee bar. Trying to lock it up. Oh, he's trying to get out of Robbie falling out of the ring. Come flying into our area. Nico with that kind of flying scissor move to try to get him into that knee block. It's pretty much a desperation move, Robbie, to jump out of the jump out of the ring there. Ooh, nice big right hand by Nico with that. Like Nico seven. leading it with that time. And now Lawler looks like the one who needs to catch his breath a bit. This the left hand sneaks over the top. Lawler kind of falling into Nico into the corner. 30 seconds. Knee and a good right. Another right, a left, and Nico goes down. Robbie Lawler on top of him. And this fight is over. Robbie Lawler has ended Vitale's run for the title, and now people coming into the ring. Nico's reign as a middleweight champ has ended and now it is security time to try to maintain the results and the fair play and the sportsmanship of this very honored fight. Two fighters that respected each other so much. Robbie Lawler caught him with a combo. Nico went down and it was over. And this Blaisdell crowd is stunned. Official time, 4 minutes 36 seconds, round number 2. 4 minutes 36 seconds into round 1. Robbie Lawler is now the world middleweight, middleweight icon champion. sport champ. And you can see the disappointment on the face of Nico Vitale. But Robbie Lawler, what a win for him. Thank you. We talked about his punching power. That's what it came down to, just the force that he has behind those fists as well as the accuracy, you know, he's a lot more accurate than, than Nico. Nico's throwing punches, Bobby's doing a good job of defending a lot of those punches.